Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I decided to do something different because today is the 4th of July, Independence Day, yeah, celebrating the American holiday. I decided to do a DVD review of the miniseries This is America, Charlie Brown. Yeah, this is definitely a Peanuts special, but it's a miniseries that aired on CBS primetime starting in October of 1988 which by the way it's going to be celebrating its 30th anniversary hard to believe <laughs> but it's true and this is a DVD release that came out from Paramount back in 2006 and this was uh, a very rare DVD release at the time because it had a very nice box set it's a two disc set. It comes in those two slim cases, which I'm going to show you right now. And each of them features four episodes. This one has the Mayflower Voyage, the birth of the Constitution, the White Brothers at Kitty Hawk, and the NASA Space Station. You can see on the back right here. Yeah. And <laughs> this is what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, following this too, of the last four, the building of the Transcontinental Railroad, the Great Inventors, the Smithsonian and the Presidency, and the Music and Heroes of America. Yep, you can see the back here. This is what it looks like. Yep. <laughs> Fortunately, this set is out of print, but they did re-release it by Warner Brothers back in 2014, so you get a different cover art this time which is just Snoopy holding the American flag and Woodstock holding the Charlie Brown flag. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty generic uh, DVD cover art but what can you do? It's just too bad because this one had a very nice cover art and it just really shows even in the back yeah even in the spine <laughs> okay, and it's also embossed too, <laughs> so it really looks nice. But back to that. Um, the first time I saw this special or mini series, for that matter, it was back when I started uh, renting one of the tapes at the library. Uh, the first one I saw was. Uh, the yeah the birth of the Constitution and then later I um, I actually rented uh, the music and heroes of America it was really interesting to see what uh, the Peanuts game was was focusing on the the meaning of the American history as we know it how this all began and where it started so it was really cool uh, the most common one that's often aired on during Thanksgiving is the Mayflower Voyage. And I saw that on Nickelodeon when it aired. They did air all the other ones on Nickelodeon as part of their on Nickelodeon Charlie Brown back in 1998. So it was really cool to see all the rest of the other episodes that I didn't get a chance to see. And I also did bought one of them too. Uh, on VHS a long time ago too called the NASA Space Station. <laughs> um, I was thinking about uh, reviewing all eight episodes of the miniseries of This is America Charlie Brown because I figured this would be a good time for it not only for its celebration of its 30th anniversary yeah which 
that's going to start by October of 1988. But I figured this would be a good time because since we're in the month of independence, why not? It's going to take me some time to do so. So I just figured, let's just keep up with it. Um, now, the transfer on, on this DB set is pretty solid. Um, in fact, it's it's the best it's ever looked at the time. Um, this is before you know, Warner Brothers digitally remastered it uh, for its re-release, so it looks even better than ever. But there wasn't anything wrong with this set at all, because it has all eight episodes together, plays perfectly, so it looks as good as it as it just aired on TV originally. So it was really nice to see what it looked like. I mean, it did have some great animation. This is also the first time we get to see adult characters on screen because it makes sense. Because after all, they're focusing on American history and how it all started. It's kind of strange to see the Peanuts game, you know, getting introduced to it, but but in the end, I, I thought it was really neat. Because after all, I mean, Peanuts is an American icon by creator Charles M. Schultz, you know, Sparky himself. So, if I had to learn American history, I had to learn it from this. <laughs> but I have taken American history in college. So, it was pretty tough. But. And I also had taken some history um, at elementary school and all that too. So I had to learn a lot about how it all happened. So. It's cool. You know? um, hey, uh, but if you ever get a chance to pick up um, this special, or miniseries at this point, because that's what it is, um, Pick this up. I mean, hey, it would be rare to pick up the the original 2006 uh, DVD box set, but but if you want to go for a better deal, just pick up the Warner Brothers set. It's too bad they won't have a set like this, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. And there's no features. What can you do? I mean, it would have been nice to, to see some special features of how the cast came together and how they talk about the American history and how they wanted to do a special you know, mini-series about it. And it, it was really interesting that they had to do so. Uh, the difference uh, here on this DVD release um, I'm just going to start with the first episode of the Mayflower Voyage. Was that unlike um, the Nickelodeon airing, as well as uh, the ABC airing, and of course the the Blu-ray and DVD release on the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special from Warner Brothers, I noticed there was an edit. A quick edit on the, the Mayflower Voyage where they show a shot where the Pilgrims actually shot a turkey. Uh, on this release, it just shows a close up of the Indian. I didn't notice that when I saw it. But I had to look back at, at uh, the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving uh, Blu ray and DVD just to check it out and I also did tape that on Nickelodeon the first time so I noticed that there was something different so all I could say was <laughs> now I know I had both the cut version and the uh, and the unedited uh, version of of the same episode <laughs> of the miniseries I but nevertheless uh, this was a great set. So I, I decided to do a quick video. Um, if I thought about doing all eight episodes uh, together as a review, I'll try. But I just want to do this just for the celebration of the 4th of July. So anyway, 
I'm Joseph A. Sabora. Have a happy 4th of July, and I'll see you later. Bye.